Section 1. Smith Wigglesworth Question 1. How do you feel about being here to speak to the world today? Matthew, I want to speak to you first of all and reassure you that heaven has this. All you need to do is just relax and let me speak through you because I have planned what I'm going to say and I'm fully led by the Holy Spirit. Everything I have to say will be clear, precise, and exactly what I want to say. Of course, the interview will be tidied up and edited, but everything is planned for the final product. I just want to start and reassure you that people who will mock you will always exist, no matter what teaching or revelation is given. There will always be mockers. You can't be nervous about us speaking through you because of the mockers. They will come. There were mockers of Jesus. There were mockers of me. The world naturally has people who mock and who are in unbelief. You can't let the worries of being mocked stop you from doing anything. The mere fact that you turned on the recorder and that you started to record means that you are obedient and you have pushed past that. Of course, it's a real honor and pleasure to be here. Jesus spoke about Lazarus and the rich man. The rich man in the story wanted Abraham to send Lazarus back to his brothers to warn his brothers of the eternal fire. He wanted his brothers to be saved and not come to a place of hell. Jesus said that Abraham told him that they have the prophets and the law to teach them and lead them, and if they don't listen to them, they won't listen to someone who comes back from the dead. We live in a resurrection kingdom time where people are coming back from the dead after they have passed on to heaven, and they are speaking to the world. More and more people are speaking to departed saints these days. It's a real honor to be in heaven and to be selected to come and speak to the people of earth just to have something more to say. That is hard for you to imagine or to understand. The average person thinks that once you passed on to heaven, that's the end of your influence on earth. Whatever you've recorded in books can be kept and have an influence. Whatever you have recorded in sermons can be saved. But it's your last chance to speak to people on earth as a normal person when you die. It's so wonderful to be told by Jesus, Hi, there's this little guy on earth with some radical faith and he's going to interview you. He has some standard questions that he's asked people in another book, Great Cloud of Witnesses Speak, and he's going to use those questions. He's going to interview you, and you will have something to say. It's really hard to capture how happy I am to be here to speak to you and to speak to the people that will read this book. I'm speaking to everyone who will read this. I want to influence each and every person. But, Matthew, you have developed the ability in your own writing lifestyle. You've developed the ability just to write to the single person and concentrate your whole message to one individual, so this message is directed to one person. I'm speaking to you, dear reader, the person who's reading this or listening to it on Audible. As you listen to this, I want you to know that I've recorded it. I've made it possible to be able to speak to you. I have a message for you if you pay attention to everything that I have to say over the course of these nine questions. I have a message for you, and sometimes multiple messages for you. I want you to pay attention. Learn how to highlight certain passages. I want you to get a highlighter and start to highlight some of what I say so that you can go back and be reminded of my words. You need to get what I say down into your spirit rather than just hearing it. Process it with your mind. Meditate on this. It must go beyond your mind and stir and grow in your heart like a seed grows into a plant. A seed will develop and produce after the same kind and produce some fruit. So too you should receive some real lasting benefit from what I have to say.